So, hi, it's me, Denny Daniel, and I'm here with... Devashree. Hi, I'm Mohit. And they came all the way from New Jersey <laughs> to see the Museum of Interesting Things. It took them an entire week. They've been here all week. They, got, they had to have their hair and makeup done. Uh, and now uh, they're going to open up one of these packages. I've got these three things over here. And each one of them is going to open up one of them. And I do this like a 42nd Street shell game where a guy would show up with a little folding table and he'd have three shells. Mm -hmm. And there was a quarter under one of the shells. And he would mix them up like this. And then you had to guess which shell had the quarter and you'd win something. And the only difference here is I don't have three shells. There isn't a quarter under any of these boxes mm -hmm. and you win nothing. <laughs> so ethically it is like a New York shell game, isn't it? <laughs> but there is one similarity. I do mix up the boxes. So here's me mixing up the boxes. Are you guys confused? <laughs> Good, because otherwise I'd have to do this all day long. Okay, so uh, each one pick a box. Which do you want to open? I just pick this one. That one and that one. Okay. And uh, here is your scalpel. <laughs> and here, oh, that one. Yeah, that should be. Yeah, those are sharp. Good. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's not a sharp. That one. This one, you'd need a really sharp one. That's why. Just make sure not to cut each other, <laughs> yourselves, <laughs> or me, or the cat. <laughs> Although your sister's a surgeon, so <laughs> we'd have to call her immediately. <laughs> I do have some quack medical surgical tools from the Civil War I could use on you, or your sister could borrow. I'm not sure she'd want to use them, though. <laughs> but you'd save money on, like, you know, sterilization, <laughs> anesthesia. Back then, a shot of whiskey, you're fine. Yep, that's the only one. I'll take the box for you. Oh, I know what you opened. That's really cool. That's actually very important. Phonographs on the. Yeah, Record these records. are Edison cylinder play records, but this one is, they're both very rare and very special. I've got over 300 of these. Mm -hmm. These are extremely rare because this one, and uh, Leah, if you're watching this, my dear friend, the French documentarist, this is a French language record. So these were done by the ICS language system uh, with Thomas Edison phonographs. So these guys made French language uh, teaching mm -hmm. um, uh, discs. So these are original wax cylinders. These are wax wow. ones, beeswax wax ones. ones. Probably. I mean, some were celluloid. This might be celluloid. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, but they made these how to learn French. How cool is that? Wow. Do you know French? A bit. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's why you need this. <laughs> that's clearly why you open this, because then you could learn French. This is a, this one is the only one I've ever seen in my life. The language phone method. I don't even understand what's going on here. Rosenthal's original language record. And this was flown in from very far away from me. Original Rosenthal master record for language study by the Ro Rosenthal common sense system of Practical Linguistry, the International College of Languages on Broadway and 16th Street in New York City. Mm -hmm. So this taught you language, but it I, I, it doesn't even say like what language, I guess English. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I've never ever seen, for you Edison people, this is probably the rarest record you've ever seen. It's the only one I've ever seen, and like I said, I've seen thousands, I own hundreds, and this one is so unique. It's such a bizarre one. It's interesting that you guys got the language ones. Do you speak another language? Hindi. I spoke Hindi. Hindi, I figured. <laughs> so now you could learn French. Oh, this one is French, I think. Oh. I'm not sure. I can't hardly read that. 